This is Diabetes, the history of diabetes testing. Diabetes testing has come a long way. Prior to the 1960s, most people had to go to the doctor to find out what their glucose level was, and then you'd only find out about every three months or so. By the mid-1960s, Miles Laboratory, now a division of Bayer, developed a test strip that you could actually put in your urine and it would come out with different colors. And from those colors, you determine exactly what your glucose level was. In 1970, the Ames Corporation came out with a glucose monitor that could be used by a doctor and was very accurate for the time. A little unit weighed about three pounds and you could check your glucose level at the doctor's office, which was a lot more accurate than at home. In 1973, U100 insulin became available. That was the first self-injectable insulin. Shortly after that, in 1976, the HbA1c test became available, still considered a medical standard as far as glucose tests go. It gives you a three-month snapshot of what your glucose level is. By 1985, the home glucose monitor became available, and you could actually get a blood glucose level rather than just using a urine sample, which was far more accurate. Through the mid-1990s, glucose monitors kept getting a little bit smaller and a lot more accurate to the meters that we have today, which are very accurate and can be downloaded by your doctor. Now to get us up at more modern day. In 1999, the FDA approved studies to be done on a CGM, or Continuous Glucose Monitor, with Medtronix coming out with the first one that was good for up to 72 hours. The second system to come out was Dexcom in 2006, and general use started in 2007. The sensor again was only good for 72 hours, and the receiver could get you information every five minutes. Abbott Laboratories came out with their Freestyle Navigator in 2008, and that sensor would last up to five days. In 2012, Dexcom released their G4. This was a seven day sensor, and it could be read up to 20 feet away. Of course, Abbott, not being outdone, they very quickly in 2017 came out with the Freestyle Libre 14, which was a 14-day sensor. The Dexcom G5 became available in 2016. Here was a CGM that could use your phone. And Dexcom came out with the G6 in 2018. This was the first real-time glucose monitor. Abbott's Freestyle Libre 2 was released in 2020, followed quickly by the Libre 3 which had a much smaller sensor. It was released in October of 2022. And finally, the Dexcom G7 was released in early 2023. Both the G7 and the Libre 3 are very, very small, only about the size of two pennies stacked together. We've come a long way in 60 years of technology with diabetes, and who really knows what's around the corner? So that's the history of diabetes testing. As always, thank you for watching. If you like this content, please like and subscribe.